Hello everyone, this is your video on multi-dimensional arrays. I would definitely encourage you to check out the, the previous videos on single dimensional arrays as well as um, the video introducing multi-dimensional arrays. Now we're going to get some hands-on practice with it. But before we get started, I just want to do a quick shout out to my uh, C programming crash course. I think it's something you guys would all be interested in, so check out the links in the description if that's something you might uh, find useful. So when we create a single dimensional array, we say what type it is and give it a name and then use these square brackets and then you can put some values in here and that is how you create a single dimensional array a multi-dimensional array is very similar you still only use one type so every single value is going to be of the same type so this one up here this might be one person's grades for three assignments so now we want to store multiple people's grades for the three assignments so we need to use two square bracket groups and then we can assign the same way so it's going to look something like this i like to format it so it looks like a table so this is the first student and then this is going to be the second student who's a little bit smarter than the other one <laughs> all right so this is actually not going to compile and this is an interesting thing that i'm not entirely sure why maybe one of you guys can help so when I said to make a single dimensional array I said don't put the size here but when you're making a, a two-dimensional array it actually wants you to put the size specifically you only need the size right here which is the number of columns so you could put a three here and that would work just fine but I don't know why that's like that I don't know why it can't just say oh there's three columns that that means we should just give a size of three, but apparently it has to have the size. And generally when I do that, I prefer to have a variable so we could have a column variable set to three. And if you're going to do this, you actually need to have the const keyword here in order for it to work. Like so. Now it should compile and we can actually access any of these elements fairly simply. So for example, let's say we wanted to access this 89. Well, what we would do is we would say grades and the first square bracket is going to talk about the row. So this is row index zero, this is row index one. So we would say one, and then we're going to do another set of square brackets. And this is going to be the column. So index zero, index one, index two, right there. Now let's compile this and just make sure it works and run it. 89, so it works. That's how you access a particular element. And this is just a normal integer, meaning you can, uh, you can uh, change it, doing the same thing. So now I'm gonna print it before, change it, and then print it after. 89, 30, so that's how that works. Now, I wanted to talk about how we print all of the values of a multidimensional array. And you're actually going to need two for loops, so a nested for loop. The outer for loop is going to go through the rows, then the inner for loop is going to go through the columns. So it's gonna look something like this. Now we need the number of rows, and actually don't have this hard-coded, so just for clarity, let's do that. So now as long as i is less than rows, and you could put rows here if you wanted. It doesn't need it there though, so I'm not gonna put it there. Okay, now that's going to cycle through the rows. Now for each row, we need to print every single column value, so we need another for loop. Now typically, you need, you'll need you use another variable, either j or k. So you could say int j, equal to zero and then j is less than columns j plus plus so now within here we can use these variables as the indexes for our array to access each element individually so basically it's going to go i zero and then for every i zero it's going to go j zero one two and then i is going to go to one it's going to go zero one two that made no sense then just just print it out you'll understand 
It's hard to explain this kind of stuff sometimes. So the first one is going to be I, and then the next one is going to be J. Okay, we have a little issue. Oh, here's the issue. Um, we need to change it to grades, and that's a lowercase g, not my grades. So grades was the single array up here. I'm gonna get rid of that. And it prints out all the values. It looks a little funky because this print F here is, is still there. We need to get rid of that. <laughs> I was looking at it, I was like, what is going on? It's not working. <laughs> but it's working, it's just, uh, just not looking right. There we go. 